Okay, welcome to Moo Moo Math. This is a, another math trick or a technique for multiplying multi-digit numbers. Uh, I will call this um, cross and vertical multiplication, and I'll explain why the name is in just a second. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let's say we have a number 316 times 245. Okay. So here's the technique you can use. The first thing you need to remember that a cross multiplication, anyway, any time you can do a cross, always complete that before a vertical multiplication. Okay, so let's get started. First thing you do is you start at the far left with the first two digits. And since there's not a cross available, you multiply these two together and that equals 6. And what you're doing is you're basically creating small boxes as you move down and multiplying these numbers together. So let's move to the next two digits. There is a cross available. So you have 3 times 4 which is 12 and add that to 2 times 1 which is 2. So now that gives you 14. Instead of writing 14 down, you're going to carry the 1 over to here. So I'll write a 1. Now let's move down to the next box. So now I have three numbers in the box. So I have a cross between 3 and 5. So that will be 15. And 6 and 2 is 12. And then I don't have a cross in the middle. So 4 times 1 is 4. And that gives me 4, 2, 11. Let's see if that's right. 7, yes. And then 31. So I will place the 1 there. And I will carry a 3 over to the 4. And then finally, we're halfway there. So we've gone group 1. We've grouped these. We've grouped these. And now, on the second half... We just start one to the right of the first digit. So we're going to start here. So we do have a cross. Five times one is five. Six times four is 24. So that will give me 29. I move a two to here. And so now we're down to the very last. We do not have a cross. So six times five is 30 carry the three. Okay, so that's the first part. And um, let me kind of summarize what we've done there. We've taken 316 and 245. We start at the far left. We look for verticals and crosses. We multiply these two, and then we create a box and work these numbers, and then we create another box all the way down and then move back to the left. So here we go. So now let's get back to this. So now all we do is move the numbers straight down. There's a zero. Nine plus three is 12. Carry one more digit over. One plus one is two, plus two is four. Then we move 4 plus 3 is 7. 6 plus 1 is 7. So that is our answer. 77,420. Okay, that's the first example. Let's look at a, another example. What happens when you have a number like 316 times 45? Okay, this works with this technique. And all you do is whenever you have one digit smaller than the other, in this case you have three digits in the first number, two in the second, is just add a zero. And then you apply the exact same technique. Three times zero is zero. Then we move to the next pair. And that is we have a cross. Three times four is twelve. One times zero is zero. So I will place a 12 here and carry the 1 to the left. I then 
multiply these three numbers. 5 times 3 is 15. 16 times 0 is 0. 4 times 1 is 4. That looks like that is 19. Carry the 1 over. Now, I've gotten halfway there, so remember, I then move to 1 to the right of the first digit, so I have a cross here, 5 times 1 is 5, 6 times 4 is 24, that gives me 29, I will place the 9 here, carry the 2 to the left, and now I'm down to the last two digits, 6 times 5 is 30, carry the 3 to this direction. Okay, I then, for my final answer, move these down. There's a 0, that is a 12. Make sure you carry the 1 in this direction. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Next, I now carry another digit to the left. 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. Then carry the 0. Um, then 0 plus 1 is 1. So my final answer is 14,220. So as you can see, it works pretty easy. I think in some ways it's a little bit easier than traditional multiplication. Um, it does get a little bit messy when you have... Um, over four digits, but it still will work. Uh, let me give you one more example. And the other thing I found, if you have larger numbers like sixes and sevens in uh, the problem, it becomes a, a little difficult. If, if you've noticed, and I've done this on purpose, uh, most of my numbers are fairly small, but it does work for big digits. And so let's, let's do one final example. And here we go, we got 4,213 times 1,422. I start at the left, I have a vertical, 4 times 1 is 4. I then move to the next two digits, I have a cross, 4 times 4 is 16, 2 times 1 is 2, that gives me 18. Carry the one digit to the left, I then move to my three numbers. I have a cross here. Four times two is eight. One times one is one. And then four times two is eight. And that is 17. Carry the one to the left. I then move to four digits. I have four times two, which is, and I'm going to answer this right over here. Uh, four times two is 8, 3 times 1 is 3. I have another cross here in the middle. You always practice. Anytime you can do a cross, you practice that before a vertical multiplication. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 1 is 4 also. I have 8 plus 3 is 11, 15, and that is 19. Carry the 1 to the left. Okay, so I've gotten halfway there. Remember now what I do is instead of moving all the way to the end, I now start with the second digit, first digit to the right. And so now I have 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. I don't have a cross, so I go 2 times 1 is 2. So that gives me... 16, 4 plus, 12 plus 4 is 16, that will be 18, so I place a 1 there, carry the 1 digit to the left, okay, I'm now with this box right here, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, that is 8, Let's see if I did that correct. Two, one, that is correct. So I then move that eight here. And then finally, I have three times two is six. Okay, so I'm almost at the final answer. 
six, I bring the six down, bring the eight down, bring the eight down. Nine plus one is ten. Move the one to the left. Seven, eight, nine. Eight plus one is nine. Four plus one is five. So the final answer, let's looks like five million nine hundred ninety thousand eight hundred and eighty six. So there we go. That is vertical and cross multiplication. Hope it helps. Try it out.